Hi guys, cooking is an art. If you want to be a part, please join. It's a Christmas special bread pocket. Very quick and easy recipe. And it's a tea time snacks. Or you can make it especially on Christmas time, birthday party, anniversary or any celebration. Let's get started. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. That is veg mayonnaise I am using here. And one tablespoon of tomato ketchup. Quarter teaspoon of chili sauce and mustard sauce. 1 teaspoon. Mix all well. If you want to make it more spicy, you can add on more chili sauce. And the sauce is ready. You have to transfer in the sauce bottle so easily you can use it. Fennel I am using. Just pour all the sauce in it. And without any effort, you can see within no time. It's done. Cover it. Keep it on the side. This sauce is ready. This is the first step. Second step is prepare the veggies. I have taken the broccoli. Cut it into the big pieces. And uh, wash it. And boil it with little of water and salt. Cut the chili. Cut the carrot. Whatever veggies you want to add on. You can wash and cut it and lettuce leaves i am it's a quite big leaves so three is enough just take three leaves and wash it and keep it on the side to strain the excess water it's already boiled take half teaspoon of oil and saute the broccoli add some seasoning just you have to saute it till evaporate all the excess water and oregano seasoning you can add on according to your flavor i think this much is enough now you remove it in a bowl and keep it on the side again heat a pan with some one tablespoon of oil one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste roast it till it releases the aroma add spring onion here i'm using the chicken that is uh, already boiled with turmeric salt and ginger garlic to save the time that process already i have done just saute and mix it any type of filling you can do with paneer you can do veg filling many and most of you can use the lot of salad make it more healthier and coleslaw salad also you can use without cooking you can do it that also tastes amazing here I am adding 1 cube of processed cheese to give that juiciness and it will bind the uh, filling. If you want to make it more rich, you can add on more cheese because nowadays children prefer the cheese. That is up to you. If the cheese is ready, keep it on the side. Now the main, first check it out, the bread. If there is a hole, you discard that bread in any other use you can use it for this recipe take a fresh bread for the best result cut the all the four edges and this leftover i will make the breadcrumb that i will use in my next step so this way all are done now at a time you have to take two slices of bread and roll it with your rolling pin press it and roll it so two slices you have to make it one nicely it should be stick with each other like this only you have to press and roll see now you have to use any cutter if you have then you make the round shape either you any use any glass any bowl and what excess is coming just remove it from the side and now you can see from all the side it has completely sealed if somewhere you are finding its opening just pinch it that's all no need to add the water nothing another i am showing one more Two slices at a time you have to press and roll with your rolling pins to make the two slices like a one when it will stick properly then you have to give the shape like this press it and remove all the sides 
like this only uh, remove all the side then pick up the bowl see it's completely sealed from all the sides no one can say ki it's of one or two slices so this way all i have done remove it and check it all the side is completely sealed here i have taken one egg a pinch of salt beat it nicely and take the bread crumb if you want to take single round or double round both you can do if you want to more crispy and all that then you take double round means dip it in the egg and roll it nicely with the bread crumb roll it and press it gently it can stick roll it dip it in the egg what excess egg was there hold it for a second then you roll it on the bread crumb press it nicely so it will stick same way all you have to do see it's ready and oil is also heat up see the you can check if the bubbles is coming from the bottom to up means it's means it's ready to fry flip one bread and pour the hot oil on top of it and then you flip it it will take hardly 2 minutes time now have you noticed it's puff like a ball another you have to put don't flip it immediate at least leave it for 1 minute like this you have to roll it and then you flip it so all the puris will puff like a ball and then you have to remove it see now you can see it's a very nice pocket and when you are coating with the bread crumb and dip with the egg it will absorb very less oil or if you want to make it vegetarian so you can make the slurry and dip it in the slurry and in the same process you can coat with the bread crumb you can do skip the egg and filling also you can do the vegetarian whatever you want you can fill it see now you can cut it with the scissor knife or anything i am using the pizza cutter and now from inside i will show you now you can see there is no oil at all and such a big pocket is this from outside is very crispy and from inside very soft just apply the sauce and spread with the spoon and fill with the filling sideways you keep the lettuce and one side broccoli anyhow you can decorate how you want that is your presentation and some carrot and topping with the sauce again so it's looking tempting you want to taste you have to make it the same way apply it and just spread with the spoon side way leaves more of salad you can use in this very quickly you can make and assemble it anyhow and it's looking so pretty i know you will make it and keep it on the table it will fly away with no time merry christmas and happy new year to all of you from sabaki rasoi thanks for watching take care bye bye see you in my next video please like share and subscribe my channel